Oh yeah, I got these new Space Q45s from Soundcore. Man, I hope these things hit. everybody welcome back to the show man welcome back Wilson look y'all sit down but keep the excitement going because today is a good day because we got some new stuff and oh yeah for you new guy girl welcome to new stuff TV the untechnical tech channel I'm your host Antoine my life would be meaningless without the beautiful sounds of music Richardson because today we're gonna be checking out some new stuff from Soundcore not only are these headphones new but they have kind of a new name, okay? In the headphone space, uh, Soundcore used to call themselves the Soundcore Life Q blankety blank, but now it's the Soundcore Space Q blankety blank. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to have your own personal private space when you put on their headphones and earbuds. So, Soundcore has been doing some headphones since the days of the Q10. Remember them, them extra bass, like redonkulous bass headphones called the Q10? But those were more for the bass side. When we get to more of the, like a casual listener type of headphone, we've had three sets of headphones to choose from, starting with the Q20, which is now the Q20 Plus, which I still listen to to this day upstairs uh, when I'm watching movies in my media room because of the comfort mostly. They have good AC, ANC and, and pretty good sound, but it's mostly the comfort while I'm watching movies for long times but then we move on because we moved up to the q30s this is a fresh blue brand new set of q30s right here oh man that is so sweet great headphones love them when they came out they're still great today but then we moved up and on to the q35s which have high res and high res wireless which actually sound a little bit better stronger anc multi levels of anc but we got to move up and on because there's a new kid in town man and i will compare these space Q45s to the Q30s and 35s and Q20s uh, in another video. So stay tuned, man. I got more for you coming. But for this video, I want to focus on the new kid in town, which is the Space Q45. I'm not going to lie to you, man. These joints are nice. This right here is Soundcore's most premium set of headphones they have given us over the years. And when I say premium, I'm talking about like premium. It feels like quality when you pick them up. <sighs> Where do I start with these? Well, I guess we'll start with what's in the uh, the case. You do get your traveling case here, which is kind of a, I don't know what material this is, man. It's kind of a pleathery, leathery, you know, it's not the same as that canvas we were getting before, but it's, it's definitely a durable material. It could actually take some, you know, dings and everything, and it's kind of a semi-hard case. You open it up, and then you get your traditional stuff, which would be, well, we're missing the um that standardized you know that airplane adapter but that nobody probably uses but we got a usb-c cable right there because they do have a quick charge to them via usb-c then we got your 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable there the only thing that is not premium about the experience is this right here i don't know if you can get rid of this or not you know what let's this is like i don't, I don't like that all right, so let's see if we can actually do this. Let's let's put this in here. Back up, Wilson. All right, let's see if we can actually put that in there without it because, oh yeah, it fits real good. Okay, let's let's do that. Yeah, there we go. So you don't, yeah, once you open it up, get rid of this, man. It, it takes away from the premium experience. But we ain't gonna be worried about that case because now we got the headphones in hand. The ear cups are a little bit more oval shaped and a little bit bulkier than what we've seen before, but it is for all good reason. We actually have all physical buttons right now and I am loving that because sometimes, you know, you get those touches that you might not want and sometimes touch doesn't respond as quickly as we would want. So. When it comes to interaction with these, you get all buttons. Starting with the left ear cup, you see they double down where it says Space Series right there. But then if you go along the edges of that outside, you see your USB-C uh, charging input right there, your power button, an LED, and your noise cancellation button. And then you got some microphones right there because we are going to be testing out phone calls on these bad boys. Once you slide over to the right ear cup, you'll see that 3.5 millimeter input right there. And then you'll scroll up a little bit and you'll see your play and pause button as well as your volume up and down forward and back track rocker. Here's something interesting this time around. They've got this hinge, man. This is an aluminum hinge and it is super sturdy. The headphones do not extend from this hinge side right here. Instead, they extend 
from the headband. So now you get this clickety, you know, kind of tactile feeling when you expand that headband, but then you get this extra powerful hinge so you don't have to worry about them breaking. And look at that, looking at you, Sony, they actually still fold, even though they got that reinforced hinge. Now, when it comes to comfort, I gotta say, man, this memory foam is so clutch. How clutch is so clutch that it just literally clutches over your ears. These are over ear headphones. And when I say over ears, I think even you big floppity elephant eared people are going to really enjoy these because once your ears get inside of here, I, I have normal people ears, okay? So <laughs> my ears are not touching the edges of those ear cups. They are, they are inside of the ear cups. So like I said, man, if you've got big floppity ears, you're going to love these ear cups. They're nice and plush, but they are wide open and your whole ear can get up inside of there. Now, as far as comfort, the ears are well taken care of, but if you have hair, you're good. But if you don't have hair, if you if you a bald head guy, if you got a bald head, especially with the little peanut point up there, ah, man, I don't know, man. Look at this. This right here, this is a little on the thin side, man. We got this, this piece of metal right here, but then it's a really thin band. So if you got hair, no need to worry. If you wear hats and hoodies all the time, no need to worry. But if you're a bald head guy, you might want to kind of extend this a little bit because in my trials what i've done is extend it and then it takes the pressure off the crest of my head right there and now i am in full comfort ready to have my own personal space now here's some stuff i'm excited to show you about man you see i'm using ldac right there if you got an android phone you can go into the system on your bluetooth settings and, and click on ldac because they do support it because they have that high res going but if you look at this next little space right here see what i did there space then <laughs> this next little space uh i'm using uh, noise cancellation right now and if you go into this line below it you get to choose from adapted noise cancellation which actually works very well it's very it kind of just knows what environment you're in the mics are always working and they just kind of cancel the noise as needed so if you if you're in a super loud environment it's going to go up you know all the way and if it's not that loud it's probably you know not going to cancel as much because it doesn't really need to work that hard but you also can go into custom noise cancellation i'm the kind of guy that says either noise cancellation on or off like it's either all or nothing so i, I always kept it on five but if i hit one yeah i can see it just it starts to let in even my voice. Like I can even hear my voice a little bit clearer. So you got one, two, three, four, five levels of noise cancellation or adaptive noise cancellation, which I think actually works very well. Then of course you got normal, which I just switched and that just, now it feels like I'm in a tunnel, okay? <laughs> so let me go to transparency, whoa. This transparency mode is, it's not a natural sounding transparency mode, it's amplified. Uh, when I have on headphones such as these, like over ears, natural sounding usually sounds, I don't want natural. I mean, natural is good because it's natural, but when I got on headphones, I need you to amplify. You know what I'm saying? I want to have superhuman hearing. And right now I do have a little bit more superhuman hearing and I feel like I can hear my voice a lot louder than I normally would should I not be uh, have the headphones on. But we can also go into custom because we have talk mode which is where if you're listening to music, what happens is if you have it in talk mode, what happens is the music actually attenuates. It goes down really low. It keeps playing in the background, but you can now hear your, your surroundings and it just stays that way until you turn it off. Or you can go into custom transparency mode, which you, you can't adjust it on the fly, but you can go from one, two, three, four, five levels of it. And yeah, now I can hear my voice loud and clear again here we're almost at noise canceling again. So I'm hearing a lot of my voice, but it's not as as muted as it was with the full noise cancellation on, but five lets me hear everything around me. So we'll get out of that because that part of the video is over. Now we'll go into safe volume. This is new. This is something new. All right, so we got real time. I don't know what this, I guess it just measures over a minute, 10 seconds or in real time. Let's do real time. And uh, you know what? Let me just play some music real quick. Let me, let me see here. Oh yeah. Okay, so. That's 90 decibels inside of the headphones, okay. Yeah, all right, let me pause that real quick. 
All right, that's what happens, man. It lets you know what the decibels are in your headphones inside of here. What, you know, cause you don't wanna deafen yourself. And I truly believe some of you guys have ruined your hearing with uh, blasting your headphones, too much bass, all this kind of stuff. So this actually protects your ears, or at least it allows you to be able to protect your ears. And you can actually set a limit to that by uh, hitting that toggle right there. And then you can limit it to 90, 100 decibels, all the way down to 75 decibels. And you just cannot turn it up any louder than that. Sometimes you do wanna, you know, feel that extra kick. So I'm gonna keep it at about, you know, well, let's, let's keep it at 85, man. 85 is reasonable. All right, I'll turn that back off. But now we can get into controls because there are some customizations you can do here. It's not a lot, but we do get something. So we got this button right here, this noise cancellation button in the back. And what you can do is you can have it turn on or off the ambient sound and transparency mode and onto normal. Like I said, when I got on these headphones, for me, I don't worry about normal, okay? I just want noise cancellation on or transparency mode, okay? <laughs> That's just what it is. But if you get to press it twice, if you wanna press it twice, you can go into bass up, on or off. Yes, they still have bass up in the headphones. All right, now we get to the fun part of this app, man. We get to the sound effects, all right? So, of course, you got your custom EQ, man. You can do whatever you wanna do and just play around with it to your heart's content. But we ain't doing that, man. We're going into this Soundcore signature. When I first listened to these, I actually just had it in Soundcore signature and the sound, I was like, wow, it's been a long time. It's, it's been a few iterations since I have not had to adjust some headphones, okay? Like I just put them on and they sound just great, okay? So I decided, ah, I gotta do this. I gotta play around with stuff. So I went in here, cause the bass up was actually off when I turned them on for the first time. So I turned on the bass up and it, some songs you listen to, it might make you a little nauseous, man. You know, it's, it's, it's got quite a bit of bass. You know, the, the sound core is known for bass. It's what they do, you know what I'm saying? So I keep the, uh, the bass up off most of the time, but when you turn it on, it doesn't muddy up the sound at all. It sounds fantastic. But this particular sound core signature in, I believe it was the Q30s and Q35s, I wasn't really a fan of the sound core signature, but in here, sound core signature is probably either the top one or two sound signatures I like for here. Acoustics would be my, my next favorite, but acoustics brings up all the highs and the mids and everything. And you probably could get a little listening fatigue because everything is so bright. Uh, and you can listen to you know certain songs. If you're looking for instrumentation, put it on acoustic, man. It's, it's going to bring it out. But I mainly hang out in the sound source, uh, sound core signature area, and sometimes I'll turn on the bass up. And I like that you can just double click with, you know, let me just do it right now. Let me just double click this button. Click. Oh, I, I messed that up. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, there it is. It's on right now. I just went. But you got a whole bunch of them, man. I didn't even bother to count, but look how many of these EQ settings you have. Now here comes the fun part of the video where I get to sit in a loud cafe because now you can hear this loud cafe going. There's a lot of people around here. I got some paid actors, you know, in the background, like messing with my audio. But if we were talking on this headset, this is what you would be hearing, or this is a good example of what you would be hearing if we were on a phone call because these active noise cancellation microphones are also acting to block out the ambient sound in the room that I'm in. That way you and I can have a better conversation. Now it's time to answer the questions you've all been waiting for. But do they jam now? More life and more blessings. Rise up and give thanks and stop stressing. <laughs> yeah, man, I told you, man, I told you. These things do jam. I love the sound that comes out of these headphones. They really do sound good. Like I said, when I first put them on, they were on sound, sound core signature without the bass up on, and they sounded fantastic. I really haven't veered too far away from that because I really like the way that sounds. The bass is on point. You get nice boomy bass, but not overly done to where it muddies up the mids and highs. The highs are nice and clean and the mids are clean and clear, uh, but they're not ear fatiguing. If you go into acoustics, into the acoustic setting, you might get a little ear fatigue because everything is so bright. And if you, you know, you got that personal EQ that you, you know, if you, you can bring out whatever you want from these headphones. I, I truly believe that. I believe that if you're an EQ person where you gotta mess with stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can get what you want. But between those two presets right there, I don't think you'll have, you know, I don't think you'll be doing a lot. I think you'll just pick one or two and, and just roll with it, man. The sound is just clean. 
It's just clean. I listened to these actually for a few, not two, a few hours. Had them on my head so they were comfortable and I was just listening to music, man. More life and more blessings. Rise up and give thanks and stop stressing. And I actually text my homeboy because he has them too. When I first got him, I text him. I, I sent him a text. It was just, damn, <laughs> damn, these sound good. And he agreed, man. He was already listening to them and he agreed. They sounded good and they actually replaced his previous sets, which were, I think it was AKGs or something like that. So he says he listened to these all the time now. And I can't, I can't argue with him on that. These are great headphones, especially for the casual listener. For those of you who travel, you're gonna love the ANC. The ANC and the ambient sound feature or the hear through, whatever you wanna call it, it works great. We're getting great active noise cancellation. Remember how I said I like it on or off, I don't like to toggle it down. The adaptive works really great too, but I'm, I gotta make sure it's on high all the time and it does block out a lot of the lower and mid tones. As far as the high tones, man, you know, it's really hard to block those out, but it does push them so far into the background that you're not even gonna be disturbed by them and you can still be in your own personal space. And as far as active noise cancellation headphones that provide a great quality sound without having different sound shifts when you toggle between active noise cancellation and ambient sound and stuff like that, I think Soundcore has really refined their well, it used to be Life Series, but now they have truly refined what they used to call the Life Series, and now they call it the Space Series. And this is the Space Q45, and I'm here for it, man. This is true refinement, and I think, I truly think that this is their most luxurious, most refined, and just most premium set of headphones they've ever come out with. They look great. I even know, I know, secret they're coming out with some more colors man they're coming out with this who they're coming out with some more colors okay but this black right here it it just has like this who look at it man that's just musical sexiness right there i am loving these headphones look i'm no expert in this kind of stuff but what i do know is this is just this is just good it's just good hey man i need to back up a little bit i need some personal space space you know what i'm saying space